Is it best to work out with or without underwear? Here are three conditions that are under the armpit that you can't ignore. Why do you take some medications under the tongue? But that's not all. We have a special two-part episode for you today with twice the information. So we're going to go from under to over with six ways to overcome your most confusing, frustrating, and embarrassing body problems. But let's get underway with a question that's often debated but still puzzles a lot of us. Why do you take some medications under the tongue? Well, a lot of people do realize that certain medicines, when taken under the tongue, they get absorbed faster. But the question is, why is that? Well, there's actually a very simple explanation. And it starts with, what is under your tongue? Well, it's a thin mucous membrane, rich in capillaries and bl blood supply. And you probably haven't looked under your tongue often, but you'll see there actually are a lot of capillaries in there. So what happens is that medication gets absorbed rapidly directly into your bloodstream. And that, of course, means that it's going to take effect more quickly than, say, if you take an oral medication. Because what happens when you take an oral medication is it's going to travel all the way through your mouth, down your esophagus, and ultimately into your stomach, where stomach acid will start to break that pill down. And then as that pill is broken down, it's absorbed in through your small intestine. But it actually makes a pass through your liver before eventually it then reaches other parts of your body where it can do the work. For instance, if you take something for pain in your foot, you know, that's a lot of activity to get to where you ultimately want that medication to take effect. Now, having said that, there are some major benefits to taking solid pills. It's why most pills are given orally, and it's because you can get a controlled dosage. You can also get a stable delivery of the amount of medicine that you want, because in the end, it's not just about how fast it's absorbed, it's about what's the most effective method of delivery for that specific medication and your needs. So you wanna to talk to your doctor, because the fact is most medicines are taken orally. Your doctor, if they want you to take it sublingually, it'll say SL on the mm -hmm. prescription to be taken sublingually. And, and in my profession, and a lot of times we actually give medication vaginally, um, especially for labor. And yeah, don't sure. forget per rectum, PR. Mm -hmm. Suppositories don't use sublingual medications down under, yeah, right. and, <laughs> and vice versa, because although it is being absorbed through your mucous membranes, the mucous membranes are a little bit different, and there's a reason why certain things are better in the mouth, certain things are better as a suppository. Or so, China. takeaway there is ne never crush up your medicine and just put it under your tongue. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. You know, these medicines have certain outer cores that are designed to release medicine over a certain period of time, and a lot of the medicines we take, they're called extended release. That's all by design. Once it hits the acid of your stomach, that outer core starts to break down. Slowly but surely is often the best way to deliver medicine, yeah. not fast and quick. I've heard some people to just save money will break their pills in half and put them under their tongue thinking they're gonna be more, you know, twice effective, that way you use half. No, that's a big no-no. Mm -hmm. 